Welcome to John R. Nelson Gymnasium here. We're cutting in just in time for the anthem. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, <clears throat> welcome to John R. Nelson Gymnasium. You're watching Culver TV on RTC TV4. I'm Chris Stevens, and I'm being joined tonight by uh, Alex Korn. Yep. Um, tonight's contest against the Lady Pioneer Panthers and the Lady Cavaliers. Getting ready for PA extraordinaire Justin Croy to do lineups here. We'll just go ahead and let you tune in and let him do the lineups for you. Number 22, Olivia Brook. Number five, Hada Esnall. Number 28, Mackenzie Walker. Number 27, Kennedy Korn. Number 23, Haley Crank. Number two, Kylie Ferris. And the Lovero, number 29, Mackenzie Robinson. Ladies and gentlemen, get seconds away here from uh, this first frame of Lady Cavaliers against mm -hmm. uh, Lady Panthers. Once again, being joined by Mr. Korn, who I believe is his first time calling something for Culver. To my understanding, he's been doing some freelance commentary. Is that yep, right? Yep, just uh, going where RTC needs me. That's a, that's a good gig. <laughs> and I, I love, um, so I played football in high school, so I know what everybody's football field looks like. And this is my first view of Culver High School's uh, gymnasium, oh, really? actually. I didn't know that, you know, they have the, the, the portrait there of the Cavalier. Yep. And then uh, what I think is cool is the pictures of all their um, champion teams. Yep. As we get ready here for um, the first serve in set number one. Yep, Maddie Shedro back for the Cavaliers uh, usually is the first server. She is the setter for the Lady Cavs. Mm. We'll have Libero number one Eckright coming in for what I assume will be Brooklyn Sellers to start the first frame. It's like for the Panthers, we have number 22, Olivia Brooke, 
Uh, number 28, Mackenzie Walker. 27, Kennedy Korn. 23, Haley Kripe. Uh, I believe they said the libero was 29, Mackenzie mm -hmm. Robinson. Yep. Who am I missing out there? Number five. Yep. Jara Esno. Yeah, Jara Esno. There she is. <coughs> Shedro serve is up. Handled. Second hit into the net by the Panthers. Mm -hmm. Gives the Cavaliers an early lead. You know, I'm used to seeing the basketball hoops being up. Yep. So here, Culver takes a one nothing lead in this um, HNAC. It is an HNAC competition. That's game. correct. Pearl gets it up to Overmeyer. You're going to give a free ball to the Panthers. Sets well, up and good. It was Jara Esno for Pioneer. Does it look like she's going back to serve? Obviously, Lady Panther is a very successful volleyball program yeah. amongst other programs in their school. Yep. So they were um, state runners up, right? I believe so. As will serve in uh, good for an ace there. Pioneer takes the lead back. Mm -hmm. right, she's all the way back at the wall to serve. Long approach. Yep. Nice, what I call a knuckleball. I'm, I was told that's not the appropriate terminology in volleyball, <laughs> but... Cavaliers equalize. And this really is a, a tough conference for volleyball as you have Pioneer State runners up and then Judson was two A state champs. Absolutely. Stevens back to serve. Handled by the Libero. They're going to get three and a hit. Mm. Nicely done by Overmeyer in the back row to Shed Row to Timmy. It's going to be long. We have a substitution here. Number 27 for Pioneer comes on. That's Kennedy Korn. And for the Lady Cavs, we have uh, Brooklyn Sellers in for number 10, Natalie Stevens. A little floater over. Mm -hmm. Eckwright manages. Another floater back to Pioneer. Oh, nice, great block. Nice block by Alex Timmy. Yeah. I don't see her height listed on here. I'm going to guess uh, Alex is probably about 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, also with the long approach to her serve. <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah. Oh. Missed the call. Did someone touch that? I believe that? somebody was over the center line. Hmm. I don't see the net moving, but they did give a number, so it was one or the other. Now number 22, Olivia Brook, goes to serve for the Panthers as they lead 4-3. to three. Timmy manages uh, up to Shedro to Sellers, and it's in the net. Oh, this is nice. The official isn't in my way for the first time. <laughs> As Brooke hits that one just past the end line. Normally I get to see the back of the official and miss half the action there around the net. Yeah, we've got a pretty good uh, eagle's nest view yeah. up here. Megan Pearl back for the Lady Cavs. Her serve's over. Managed by the Pioneer Panthers. Mm. Freshman Overmeyer with a decent hit. Oh, finds nice. the space. It looked like Pioneer blocked it. It just didn't fall in their favor. Freshman Pearl uh, back to serve again. That's going to run errant wide and mm -hmm. long. Tell you what I noticed, they're looking at uh, the Cavaliers roster here. They only have one junior on it, and I think that's it's kind of amazing. You see a lot of these schools are playing young Young yeah, athletes. Absolutely. And Culver in particularly has a, uh, a very sparse junior class yeah. when it comes mm -hmm. to athletes. Panthers in the net again. Cavaliers equalize. And then you look at Pioneer's roster, and it's mostly uh, 
seniors, juniors, and then a few sophomores, and then their JVs. A lot of freshmen and sophomores, so they've got pretty good upperclassmen returning from last mm -hmm. year's state run. Timmy bumps to Shedro, sets for Stevens over the net. Oh, Timmy miss hits, but gets the ball over the net. Eckright to Shedro, she dumps, and it's going to be out. This Pioneer takes the lead, 7-6. to six. It's number 29, Mackenzie Robinson going back to serve. Eckright handles, finds the setter, Shedro. Timmy from the back row, it's oh. going to be long. Yep. Eckright cannot handle that set from the back row. Pioneer, the largest margin mm -hmm. so far. Mm. Floater mesmerized the Cavaliers yep. there, I believe. Is they larging that lead by one more. I'll tell you, looking at the crowd, I see quite a few Pioneer shirts over there. Of course, they, they travel well. Yeah, <laughs> they travel well. Nice. Nice hustle on uh, Pearl's behalf, just yep. short. That was Jara Esnell for the Panthers. Uh, they're going to take a timeout, so we're going to take one with them. You're watching Culver TV and RTC TV4. We'll be right back in a minute. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. Welcome back to John R. Nelson Gymnasium. You're watching Culver TV on RTC TV4. Just for you listeners out there that don't know, this is homecoming week for the Cavaliers. We'll be hosting the Triton Trojans on Friday night. So we've got lots of uh, activities going on through the week, starting with a uh, all-grade pep rally on Monday with the lip sync battle. So uh, <clears throat> next opportunity we get, I'll try to give some of the events that you can uh, attend or, uh, well, mostly attend uh, this week. This is Robinson for the Panthers getting ready to serve. Pearl finds Shedro, or Shedro finds the ball. Stevens manages to get it over. Oh, nice. Nice hit. Decent attempt by Pearl. It's number 24 for Pioneer, Macy Weisenberger, senior. Looks like she's the, the lone senior here for the Panthers. Eckright to Shedro to Timmy from the back. They're going to say it was blocked. Looked like net to me, but Panthers win the win the battle anyway. That was 28, Mackenzie Walker with the block, or maybe the net had the block, but she was there to put it back anyway. Free ball to the Panthers. The score is now 14 to six in favor of the Panthers. Panthers starting to run away here. Ca yeah. Cavaliers looking for something to get a side out or break, uh, break Robinson's serve here. Just goes from the floater to a, hmm, it's gonna be a double. Robinson doing a good job of mixing up her serves. Mm -hmm. And again, that's number five, Jara Esnell for Cavs, the Panthers. Cavs caught in a little rut here. Yeah. 
We were at a tournament this weekend over at Triton and witnessed a 25 nothing game. A girl served the entire game. Oh, up. man. First time I'd ever seen that. Not that I'm a volleyball guru or have seen a, <laughs> you know, above mm -hmm. average amount of volleyball games. Tip by Shedro, it's gonna fall. Again, that was Esno for the Panthers. She's been quite the force here, racking up some points for him. Hearing her name a lot. Mm -hmm. Stevens bumps it up. Shedro's gonna bump set. Timmy's gonna try. Handled by the Panthers. And there's that Esno again. Yeah. They're, they're even setting her up from across the court. Um, obviously, you can see the uh, you know why they're a state uh, state contender, mm -hmm. using their bump set spike, getting three hits on a regular basis. Esnell again. There she is again. Yep, Eckright doing her best. And, you know, mentioning the level of play here at the Panthers, it's a good opportunity for the uh, Cavaliers to get to play teams mm -hmm. of this caliber. Yep, yep. Now, I don't know my volleyball sectional very well, but are these two teams in the same sectional? I would have to look. I'm <laughs> not sure. And I'm ashamed to say that since my daughter is on, on the team. Good yeah. hit there. I believe that... The Cavaliers. Yeah, the Cavaliers will get a... Overmeyer uh, will be back to serve as well. Cavaliers finally break Robinson's serve and attempt to get something going on their own. Nice serve, handled. This time they go to Weisenberger and it's uh, off the fingertips yep. and service back to the Panthers. Yep. It's number two here goes back to serve. Kylie Ferris. Timmy almost finds some open space there. The dra or the Dragons, I'm sorry. The Panthers managed to <laughs> get it up, and Esnell's, I believe, was their first hit that has gone astray. Shedro back for the Lady Cavs. Is she the lone junior here on the team? She is. Eckright unable to get underneath that ball in the back row. That was Mackenzie Walker for the Panthers. I'll tell you, I've seen quite a few different teams play, and Pioneer so far can hit the ball, I think, the hardest out of all the different teams I've seen. And most consistently. Yeah. yeah. Free ball to the Panthers. Hit it twice. Yep. We haven't uh, said her name very much, but you have to give props to uh, the Panthers setter, number 22, uh, Olivia Brooke, who's mm -hmm. doing a fantastic job of getting that ball where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. As no serve uh, falls short end of the net, Eckright will come out. Sellers back in. Looks like Stevens is back to serve for the Lady Cavs. Mm -hmm. Score is 22 to nine here. Stevens manages to get a wrist on it, but it's gonna go wide right. So we have a substitution by the Panthers. Number 27, Kennedy Corn comes in. So now we have the set point, 24 to nine in favor of the Panthers here. It's number 28, Mackenzie Walker. Gets set to serve. Sellers puts it up, yep. but put right back by the Panthers. So that'll end, uh, end the first set, go into the Lady uh, Panthers 25 to nine. As they take a break and regroup, we will 
Also, we'll be back in a minute. You're watching Culver TV on RTC TV 4. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. All right, welcome back to John R. Nelson Gymnasium. You're watching Culver TV on RTC TV4. I'm Chris Stevens along with Alex Korn. Yep. Bringing you the uh, matchup between the Lady Panthers and the Lady Cavaliers. Uh, Cavaliers fall in the first set 25 to 9, so they're going to regroup, take some advice from <laughs> Coach Schmall and Coach Barron there and see what they can do to claw back in the second set. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, I. Uh Really like your guys' gymnasium. This is the first air-conditioned gym I've been in so far with RTC. We are we are uh, pretty proud of our facilities for being a small <laughs> single-A school. Uh, we you know we really do have some nice facilities mm -hmm. here, and we're very very thankful for that. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, uh, out at Cavalier Field this Friday, uh, as mentioned before. Cavaliers will host the Trojans. Um, we have, t today is uh, Tuesday, we have, um, I know that we have a home soccer match on Saturday, girls soccer versus Westville. I believe that's a 6 p.m. start. And then uh, what do we have? Is there anything else going on? We had middle school football today, but I don't, I'm not sure about the Middle school volleyball against Pioneer Thursday, 5.30. That's at home. Yeah, Friday we have the parade, which will be lining up at 3.30 and kicking off at 4. So you don't want to miss the uh, mm -hmm. homecoming parade there. And you probably don't want to miss that football game either. No, it's going to be a good one. See, I did uh, Triton and Caston two weeks ago when... Triton threw the ball very well. Yeah, we they were following the score on that because yep. I believe that uh, Triton jumped up early a half and then Caston managed, Caston pulled uh, pretty close there toward the end, didn't they? Um, or am I thinking of a different score? I'm thinking of Triton South Central. Yeah, you're thinking I'm of a different thinking one. I'm thinking of Triton South Central, yep. Is the, the game I did ended up 41-0. to zero. Okay, so I'm <laughs> definitely thinking of the Triton South Central, which would have been the first, the <laughs> first game of the year. Now, I heard Triton had trouble last Friday with Bremen. Yes. Looks like number five for the Panthers is getting ready to serve. That's Jara Esnell. We've been saying her name quite a bit so far. Got a message from a listener saying that unless things have changed, they will not be in the same sectional. So that's good news for Culver. Yep. Well, the success factor hasn't bumped Pioneer up to 2A, has it? I'm not sure in volleyball. Yeah. So I believe it requires two back-to-back -back years of yep. postseason success. Yep. Well, I could remember if, obviously, last season they were in uh, mm. the state finals. But I thought the year before that they were in regionals. That, that might do it. But once again, I don't want to say mm -hmm. for sure. I mean, I know they've been very competitive for a little while here. Got Marissa Milam in for the Lady Cavs. Alex Timmy takes a break. Senior Alex Timmy takes a break. A little bit of miscommunication there by the Cavaliers. Yep. The score is now three to nothing in favor of the Panthers and Esnell again to serve. Shedro sets Milam. Pumps it over. Oh. Nice hit by Kreit, but a nice dig by Eckright. Mm -hmm. 22 Brook slams that one down. Cavs don't have an answer. Nope. Increase that early lead 4 to 0. Timmy back in for the Cavaliers. And again, Essendon will serve. 
Back right. Shedro finds it. It's going to be Stevens in the middle. She dumps it oh, in. Nice. Aim for that back far corner. Yep, good spot by Stevens. Shedro back for the Lady Cavs. Quick set. Looks like it might be handled. Eckright is not able to get that free ball over. Cameras almost get taken out by that uh, long ball. <laughs> yeah, we almost ended up with a souvenir. Nicely done by the uh, Lady Panthers, though, with that quick set. That's, mm -hmm. that's fun to watch. Is that number 28 serving for the yep. Panthers, Mackenzie Walker? Yep, her uh, serve mesmerized Overmeyer, unable to play the ball cleanly. Walker with a nice spot, yep. just out of bounds. Sellers back in for Libero Eckright. Score is now six to two. In favor of the Panthers. Stevens back. Handled by the uh, oh. Stevens with the dig. Brook Brooklyn sets up uh, Lucy. Oh, Same play much, as earlier, yeah. just a little too much there by Brook. I'm no volleyball expert, but that is getting real close to a push. Mm. Stevens back again. Esno finds Brooke, number 27, with the free ball. Kennedy Corn, Corn I believe. Yeah. I believe that was Timmy on the hit yep. for the Cavaliers, trying to get a little momentum going here. Stevens again. Esno handles. Brooke dumps it over. Handled by Brooklyn Sellers. Back to Stevens. She's unable to get the free ball over. Once again, getting real close to our cameras. And I couldn't clearly see it, but it looked like uh, Brooke kind of did a behind the back yeah. tap across, you know, um, almost like a no look pass in basketball. Very nice, yeah. As she goes back to serve. Overmeyer handles it. Shedro to Pearl. Nice ball. Mm. This is number 23, Haley Kripe, sophomore, and she can hit it hard as well. Brooke back for the Panthers. That's going to be wide left. Alex Timmy back for the Lady Cavs, also with the long approach, jump serve. Just off the net. Yep. 24, Macy Weisenberger yep. comes up short on that hit. Timmy's uh, serve is short in the yep. net. Gives service back to the Lady Panthers. That score is now Nine to six in favor of the Panthers as uh, I believe that's Kripe. Kripe is long. Serve goes to Megan Pearl. Serves up, handled. Brooks gonna set. Touch the net. We've got somebody in the net. Number four would be Lucy Overmeyer. Corn had the hit and looked like it was good either way. Handled by Pearl. Bump set to Sellers. She finds oh, a nice. spot. Good thing to break Robinson's serve mm -hmm. early so she doesn't have a repeat performance from the first set. <laughs> 
Stevens in for Sellers. Eck right back to serve. Yep. The Eck right Shedro Overmeyer combination is a little long. We have a substitution here. This looks like number two. Kylie Ferris comes on. Eck right to Shedro. Timmy from the back. That was a double, double hit on the set, apparently. And Ferris back to serve again. Eck right manages to Shedro. To Stevens. She touched the net. Yep, looks like uh, 22 was in the net. Brooke gives serve to Lucy Overmeyer. Nicely done by Overmeyer. They handle Brooke to Esnell. Tapping back and forth, mm. gets jammed in the net yep. there. This is about the point in the last set where Pioneer kind of picked up with it. And as now we have Esnel back to serve. Pearl digs, Shedro feeds Timmy. And it's wide left. Cavs looking to break Esnel serve before she gets any mojo going. Mm. Overmeyer finds Shedro. Shedro to Stevens in the middle. She gets it over. Brooke. That's number 23, Haley Kripe. She um, looks like quite the athlete out yes. there as just a sophomore. It says she's listed at five foot four. She has no trouble getting that ball hit nope. over the net. Off the net, Stevens handles to Shedro. Timmy's going to take a whack at it. Block. Blocked and deflected by Timmy. Point goes to the Panthers. Looked like he had Brooke and I believe that was number 28, Mackenzie Walker. All right, we're going to take a break with them. You're watching Culver TV on RTC TV4. We'll be back in a minute. Enjoy full screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in-home Wi-Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24-7 for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. Welcome back to John R. Nelson Gymnasium. You're watching Culver TV on RTC TV4. Chris Stevens along with Alex Korn here in the second set. The Panthers uh, starting to climb away again, Alex. Yep. Yeah, this is about the time they did it in the last, in the last set. Um, I don't know, off the top of my head, I don't know how many Arsenal's been serving here in a row. She started at 13. 13? Yep. So this will be her fourth one in a row. Up and over. Culver manages to get the ball to Stevens. She gets it over. Brooks going to set Kripe. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that. That's just good. <laughs> That's a uh, state runner-up talent out there for you. Let's go to. Pearl struggles with the first touch. Mm. Shedra with a good hustle play, unable to make it happen. As we're now 18 to nine, is this the largest lead so far of the day for Pioneer? I'm not sure what the first set ended in. Gonna be a free ball back. Brooks gonna dump it over. Shedro manages to get the ball to Timmy. She tries to find a hole. On a break for Culver there is uh, 
Kripe hits that one into the net. Service goes back to um, Matty Shedro. Mm, nice. That was Brooke to Kripe, and that seems to be a pretty good combo. Yep. Along with uh, Brooke to Esnell. They've got quite the um, arsenal here, do the Panthers. It's number 28, Mackenzie Walker serves. Timmy manages to find Shedro, gets it up. Pearl gets it over. Oh, that was Kennedy Corn. It looked like she just barely got enough of it to get it over the net. Mm -hmm. Looks like Timmy came down tenderly there on mm. ankle or something, but she seems to be fine. Walker back. Into the net. Another break for the Cavaliers. Yep. This is an opportunity to make a move here. Looks like Stevens back to serve. A little <laughs> bit of confusion there. Looks like we had a substitution there. Number six, Brooklyn Sellers came on. Even serve handled. Brooke tried to get creative there and ended up short in the net. He got a little breathing room to try mm -hmm. to get creative. <laughs> Stevens back to serve for the Lady Cavs. And there it is again. Hillary Kripe. Haley Kripe, my bad. Stevens out. For the Cavaliers, Weisenberger in for the Panthers. This is Brooke back to serve. Timmy gets it over, but ends up being an opportune uh, set for the Lady Panthers. Mm -hmm. And that was Kripe again. We have a substitution here, number 18. Carly Morris comes on. I believe it's the first we've seen of Morris mm -hmm. tonight. Well, you're up by 10. You won set one. Why not rotate in some of the younger? Absolutely. Back right. It's a good first ball. Shedro sets Sellers. It's going to be just a little long. Oh, no. They're calling it in. Overruled. Line judge called it in, mm -hmm. and uh, official Jerry Newman said change call. <laughs> now the serve goes back to Brooke. Nice dig by Shedro. Mm -hmm. She's made a living out of doing that this year. She's gotten quite good at getting that mm -hmm. thing out of the net. All right, just as I speak. Good effort, nonetheless. And again, point to the Panthers. As the score goes 23, 24 to 12 here, set point. It looks like the servers for the Panthers uh, look over at their coach, and he tells them which number to yeah. serve it yeah, toward. Yeah, they're spotting it. Craig will finish it off there for yep. the uh, Panthers. Uh, they're going to take a break and get ready for the third set. We'll do the same. We'll be back in a minute. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> We're back at John R. Nelson Gymnasium. You're watching Culver TV, we brought to you by RTC TV 4. We have a halftime show? We do. Uh, we have what is called Bourbon Street Serve Challenge. So, for a dollar, you can serve a volleyball and if you hit a pizza box you get a free pizza from bourbon street mm -hmm. bourbon street does make some pretty good pizzas they sure do see there's they got locations all around they do culver argus correct bourbon bourbon mintone plymouth, yeah. plymouth. i think they have one in north webster as well yeah well, we we're pretty pleased to get a uh, we got a number of establishments or eateries mm -hmm. here in culver but uh, not all is affordable 
and tasty as Bourbon Street. Oh, it looked like that little girl hit the hit the pizza box, if you ask me. They may have to go to the replay camera to determine <laughs> if there was movement. Looked like he shot it like a basketball. Yeah, I don't know if that disqualifies one or not. I, I would think there would have to be a legal volleyball mm -hmm. serve. <laughs> I love when the fans get involved. Little clock's running down here. They're going to get the pizza boxes cleaned up, I assume. Get ready to enter this third frame. I, you know, for the Lady Cavaliers, I think the things you want to look for is, you know, staying positive, making sure everybody's working hard, body language, mm -hmm. staying together as a team, yep. doing the best you can. Yep. And uh, on the Panthers' side, you want to make sure you're not coasting. Uh, I saw Ar North Miami and Argus last week, and North Miami was up 2 nothing, and then they coasted, and Argus started to come back a little bit. Absolutely. And then um, I'd like to see, I'd like to see it out of both teams, but especially Pioneer to see them rotate in some of the younger girls and give them a chance to have sort of a a live practice, you know, yep. play against another team's varsity. Is <laughs> number twenty-eight, Mackenzie Walker. Snuck that tip right in on yep. Cavaliers. And here we have Vesno going back to serve. She just about put it away last set. Serves up and good. Timmy gets the first hit. Shedro travels a long way to get that. Steven's going to send over the free ball. Brooks going to go ahead and slam her down on her own. Good hustle play by Shedro mm -hmm. at the end. Pearl's going to hit that one deep for the Lady Cavs. Uh, Esnell has the Panthers up to an early 3-0 lead. Yeah, uh, that's that knuckle ball. Yep. You see the miscommunication out of the Cavaliers there as they didn't know who wanted to play at first. Almost as if it gives them too much time yeah. to think. Same ball. Stevens manages to get a hold of that one. Shedro challenges the tip and comes up successful, so they'll, she'll win service mm -hmm. for the Lady Cavs. Sellers in for Libero Eckright. Stevens back to serve. <laughs> Pearl finds Shedro. Timmy going to send over the free ball. Robinson to Brooke to, is that Kriper Walker? Walker. Yep. Stevens out. Corn in. Corn in. Now Walker back to serve. Floater handled by Timmy. Finds Shedro, who's going to feed Sellers. She's going to find a spot, but nope. Oh, great. Hustle play by Kripe. Timmy's going to have a whack at it. That's good. Timmy can hit the mm -hmm. ball hard. Nope. Given the correct opportunity. And she's going back to serve. The score is 5-2 to two here in set number three. Again, Pioneer taking the first two sets. Close. 
but a little long. Mm. So we have a rotation. That's number 24, Macy Weisenberger coming in. The lone senior here for the Panthers. Serve handled by Timmy to Pearl. Back to Timmy. Free ball to the Panthers. Shedro digs it out. Pearl's going to send it over. Esnell to Brook mm. to Kripe. Yep. Nicely done by Shedro. Seller's going to have a whack at it. Almost finds some spot. We have a good back and forth going here as the girls are battling hard for this one point. And I spoke too soon. <laughs> Still nicely done. Mm, yep. Brooke back to serve. As again, she looks to the coach before serving. Now we have number 12, Pearl, for the Cavaliers. She's going to come up short, give service back to the Panthers. Looks like uh, Kripe. Yep. Pearl to Shedro. Nice hit. Just a little deep. That was a senior, wasn't it? Yeah, Alex Timmy. And again, before each each Pioneer serve, I have to look down at their coach. Maybe he'll give me an indication as who they're uh, serving it towards. Floater. Free ball by Timmy. Brooke is going to find Weisenberger, and she's going to find some open court. Because yeah. it looks like there the Cavalier girls just missed it. I think they got lulled into the brooke Kripe combination. Mm -hmm. brooke Esnell. If I'm not mistaken, in the past, Pioneers always had tall girls six foot or taller but now you know they don't have a girl that's six foot on the roster but they just look very athletic yeah and then you add being well coached with great athleticism and you've got state runner up as you see here that was walker no that was Kripe. Serve nicely handled by Timmy. We're gonna find uh, someone in the net. Yeah. We have a Lady Panther in the net. So Culver catches a break there. A score is starting to run away from him a little bit there. 13 see, to 4. Yep, see if Eckright can get a few back for the Lady Cavs. Serves over and good. Esnell's going to find corn. Lady Cavs are going to set up Overmeyer. She's going to go deep in the corner. Good idea. Just a little deep. Libero Robinson back in for the Lady Panthers. See if I remember it was set one where she had seemed about 10 or 15 points in a row. Shedro called for the double there. They're going to take a break. We will too. You're watching Culver TV on RTC TV 4. We'll be back quickly. The RTC TV 4 family of networks allows you to watch nine local television channels dedicated to coverage of our schools and our communities directly on your mobile device through our new app. Just look up RTC TV 4 at the App Store or the Google Play Store. There is no cost to download the app or cost to view the live channels. With a paid subscription, you can also view any of our past videos on demand whenever you want. Download the app today and start watching. Welcome back to John R. Nelson Gymnasium. You're watching Culver TV. 
Brought to you by RTC TV4. We're back here with the third set where the Lady Panthers are up to an early 15-4 lead. And again, the Panthers won the first two sets. Looking to send everybody home early. Mm -hmm. Robinson's serve is up. That gray handles. Passes to Shedro. Sets to Stevens, and it's short in the net. Again, this is Robinson. Looks like a little bit of communication issue there. As old Jess Robinson catches that in the bleachers. He's the... Uh, Vice President of Community State Bank down in Royal Center. Oh, yeah? We have a substitution here for Pioneer. That's number 18. Carly Morris comes in. <coughs> Timmy handles. Shedro checks it down, but Stevens is not going to be able to get to it. The score is now 18 to 4 in favor of the Panthers and Robinson again to serve. Shedro works a little magic there. Mm -hmm. Still ends up in the favor of the uh, Lady Panthers. Yep. We have another, another sub. It's number 10. Christabel Blinkenstaff, freshman. First time we've called her name for the varsity mm -hmm. matchup. <coughs> That's in. That's the lone senior, Macy Weisenberger. Picking up the, the score for the Panthers as it's now 20 to 4. Robinson again to serve. Stevens finds a spot in the corner. Now, hopefully, we can see the Cavaliers kind of pick up some momentum and rally here a little bit. Freshman Overmeyer back to serve. Nice hit by Timmy, handled by the Panthers. And the senior for Pioneer, Weisenberger. We have a substitution. Speaking of Weisenberger, she's going to sit out, and that's number two. Ferris. Have it, having a different number, depending on the color your, of your yeah. jersey, is really confusing to me. I couldn't find number two earlier. Mm -hmm. Ferris's serve is good. Cavaliers use all three, but come up long. Pioneer looking to put this away. Not sure if Coach Barrett will use a timeout here or let things run its course. Mm -hmm. Stevens with the hit. She's going to find some open space off of a deflection there. She's going to get Cavaliers service again. Shedro back. The score is 22 to 6, in favor of the Panthers. And again, they won sets one and two. Number one for the Panthers, Maggie Steffel coming in for Esmo. <laughs> Robinson handles the serve to Brooke. To number 18, Carly Morris. Wins a point and service back. A 
We have Cripe coming back in. Stuff will serve is up. Eckright handles. Shedro is going to feed Timmy. Her ball handled by the Panthers. They find Cripe again. Nice block by Timmy, but it's out of bounds. So we're looking at set and match point here. Yep. You have number one, Maggie Steffel here. First time I've called her name serving. She's going to give the Cavaliers another shot at it. Sellers back in. Cavaliers clawing mm -hmm. on. And that'll do it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> just a reminder, this is homecoming week, so get yourself out to Cavalier Field on Friday night. Uh, got nothing going on tomorrow, but uh, Thursday we got boys soccer at Winnemac. We got sixth grade volleyball at LaVille. Middle school volleyball, seventh and eighth grade at Pioneer, and we got girls soccer home uh, hosting Westville, and girls volleyball at North Judson on Thursday. So once again, here the Lady Panthers uh, sweep the Cavaliers three nothing. I'm Chris Stevens, and on behalf of Alex Corn, you're watching Culver TV at RTC TV4. Have a good evening.